Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Cube Ramblings. For me, it is just past midnight. It is Sunday morning, uh, December the 28th, 2014. I hope everything is going well with all of you guys. I've been having quite the nice, relaxing week, uh, visiting family and various other things, doing lots of and lots of recordings, so I, I actually have, this is probably the most recording I've done ahead of time, uh, probably ever, <laughs> as far as the channel is concerned. I, I've been doing a lot of things that I haven't been recording, I've been investigating a lot of things I want to potentially record at some point in the future, uh, but mostly I've been doing a lot of the uh, Recording ahead and getting uh, getting myself some buffer zone, which is quite nice indeed. Uh, so um, this is going to be. I, I just want to. I want to say this uh, just off. You know, off the, the very beginning here. This is going to be more rambly uh, than most of the cube rambling episodes, and I'm not going to have a whole lot of links and and news articles that I'm going after. I've spent the better part. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm Recording this uh, so late in the, in the night is uh, I've spent the better part of the last three or four hours uh, trying to find news articles um, that are up to date and recent and ready to go uh, about things going on. But because it is the holiday season, um, the content has been quite light from all of my from all my sources. So there isn't a whole lot to talk about normally around this time. And 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 you know this is certainly true of everything that I've, I've looked at. You have a lot of these, uh, end of year, you know, countdowns like, Oh, the best of 2014, the worst of 2014. And they, they go over all these, um, you know, the best and worst lists. Um, the thing is, I've, I've gone through quite a, quite a few of them from various sources, Kotaku, uh, joystick, uh, rock, paper, shotgun, um, VG 24 seven. I don't think had one. um, but several others, Polygon had one sort of, uh, even IndieDB, I looked at the editor's choice things, and there's there's one theme that I've, I've seen running through all of them, and that is every every journalist um, in 2014, se 2014 seems to have lost their mind. <laughs> I say that lovingly, I say that lovingly, um, because for some reason or another, all these lists are like they felt the need to have these weird off the cuff categories or split their list up across several weeks. So it's like you get like one little drip here and a one little drop there and another little drip here. And it's, uh, it's quite frustrating to try to figure out exactly what they like and don't like because they come up with these crazy categories like best, uh, after drinking game, I was like, well, what <laughs> best game when I'm drunk, best game, best game when I'm not drunk. I, I, I don't, I don't understand some of these, <laughs> the need to have all these weird and crazy categories. I don't know if that's just some, uh, some meme that I've, 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 I'm too old to understand or, or what? I, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. It's like best, best game when, after you've had, you know, dinner with your wife, I was like, what? <laughs> That doesn't even make any sense. What are, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, so, um, and, and, you know, to top that off, a lot of the games that they talk about, I either haven't heard of, or I have heard of, but I don't necessarily agree. <laughs> um, some of the ones that I've played, I, I, you know, I've played some Divinity Original Sin, and that's been a common theme on a lot of these these 2014 lists uh, that I've seen as, as one of the better games and I agree uh, in part although I, I have voiced some of my problems with it namely with the questing system and how it's it's uh, very very obtuse as to what you're supposed to do next in very in various uh, engagements um, to the point where I have to look up walkthroughs all the time just to see where where I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do to get this next quest to, you know, get to the next part of this quest. Uh, cause they don't really, <clears throat> they really don't hold your hand. And, and I know that there's some, you know, quote unquote old schoolness to that, but honestly, I, 
can't recall in what context old school not holding your hand was. I mean, it, it's, you know, every old school context that I can think of, old school RPG context that I can think of, um, the RPGs were pretty straightforward. Like, hey, okay, now you gotta go here and do this, or now you gotta go there and do that. I don't recall one off the top of my head that was like, oh, uh, here's some random snippet of dialogue, and I hope you can figure out where to go next. <laughs> it's like... I mean, occasionally they would throw one in, but not it would not be your entire main quest <laughs> like it is in, in Divinity Original Sin. But I, I digress. Um, so because of that, because it's so content light and with all the holidays and everything else, uh, I don't have a whole lot as far as news articles to present to you guys. So instead, I'm going to just ramble on even more so than normal uh, about just things that I've been looking at, things that I intend to look at. Uh, directions for my channel, directions my channel has taken, uh, so on and so forth. It's still going to be focused on games, less less vloggy, more gamey things. Um, but it is going to be more of an extended, um, I guess, channel update. I guess more of a, uh, a year-end channel uh, update, I guess, I guess you could call it. Because uh, because of uh, the lack of anything else that I can, you know, that I can pull out as far as news articles go, I might have a I might have a link here and there um, that I can that I can link you guys to because I do have a few things, random things on my on my spreadsheet here, but really uh, really not much. Um, so and it occurred to me, you know, I I, <laughs> I, I listened back to my. Um, my December channel update. Um, and it was, <laughs> there's a lot of things, a lot of topics I wanted to discuss that I didn't even, that I didn't even touch upon. Um, I it literally had a few notes scribbled down about, you know, how many videos I've done and all that stuff. And that was it. I didn't really put any bullet points down as to the topics I wanted to discuss, but I had a lot of them. And the reason I, you know, I, I listened back to it and I'm amazed that I was able to talk so quickly because <laughs> I do not, I do not talk very quickly. This is why my, my videos are 45 minutes to an hour all the time because I just, I cannot, I am not um, necessarily a very um, quick witted uh, or quick to the, quick to the draw uh, art tour <laughs> you know, or orator. Um, uh, so it, it takes me a while to formulate thoughts and formulate words. And so the fact that I rambled really quickly through 15 minutes and got quite a lot of topics done in that 15 minutes, uh, amazes me even right now when I listen back to it, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't believe I talked that quickly. <laughs> um, cause as, as it was, I, um, in case it wasn't obvious, I recorded the gameplay footage first, and then I record my voice over it, uh, and that was um, that was the thing that uh, I only had recorded 15 minutes of footage, thinking I would only need 15 minutes for for uh, what I was trying to trying to accomplish, and then I just kept thinking of new and other topics that I should have discussed and all that stuff as I was going. I was like, ah, I just gotta rush through this real fast, <laughs> and, and I did. <laughs> so. Um, so some of the things I, I wanted to also bring out as part of the channel update that I didn't bring out was that, uh, you know, I, I every so often I reevaluate, you know, what's going on in the channel, what I'm doing, what I want to do next. Um, I have a lot of a lot of different games that I really want to play on the channel. Don't know how well they'll they'll end up. Uh, as far as, you know, people wanting to see them, because a lot of them are older games. Um, and I don't, I certainly don't want to make my channel an older game channel. Um, although it, the thought had, the thought had occurred to me on several occasions, because I, I do enjoy, enjoy me some of the classics or, or not so known classics. Um, but at the same time, I also want to make sure that I'm maintaining some sort of variety. And I think if, if anything, uh, it's that variety that sort of makes the channel a little bit harder to, uh, makes my channel a little bit harder to sort of, um, I don't know, get familiar with or grasp or otherwise, um, you know, 
it's more of a it's more of a grab bag of things, right? And there's only certain things, you know. It's like it's like Halloween, right? You get, you know, you go door to door, you get some candy, you come back to your house, you dump it out, and you're like, oh, I don't really like this candy, or I don't really like that candy, and you end up just taking all the sweet tarts out of it and leaving the rest. <laughs> and your parents have to eat the rest of the stuff that you don't like, like all the the peanut chews and crap. <laughs> <laughs> I've just now offended everybody who likes peanut chews, but I, it's just, <laughs> that's just, that was the, the acronym that came to my, to my head, the, the analogy, I mean, that came to my head first. Uh, <laughs> so I, um, so I've been trying to maintain that sort of balance where I'm not doing too many of one thing, although to be honest, I am a big fan of RPGs and it shows because I, I play a lots of RPGs. Um, big fan of sci-fi things, so there's a lot of sci-fi themed games on there. Uh, not as many fantasy themed games as, as anything else. And uh, absolutely no puzzlers, because I'm just terrible. <laughs> I'm just terrible at the puzzlers. Um, that said, I, I really enjoyed Ironcast, but it's not not really a puzzler per se. It's more of a it's more of a a, a bejeweled uh, kind of game, which bejeweled actually is something I'm not too bad at you know because puzzle quest was the same way and i loved puzzle quest so it's it's that's not really even though it's a, technically a puzzle game it's not really the type of puzzle game that i would dislike um it's the ones that require you to actually use your brain that i would <laughs> like i did dislike <laughs> um so things that i've been looking at as far as the channel is concerned uh, games I've been looking at. Uh, well, well, before I get into that, uh, I want to talk about some of the um, subtle changes I've made and some of the changes that I've been pondering for quite some time. Uh, some of the subtle changes I've made, I've started to, and I mentioned this, I think, in my November update, but I've started to actually record my voice uh, in a... Uh, non lossless <laughs> format, uh, namely flack. Um, I was up to this point, um, recording my voice and then exporting it from audacity, uh, as an MP3, which is a lossy, lossy, um, codec. And then, uh, you know, I, I marry that voice up with the video and re-encode that out as it ultimately comes out as AAC. Um, which is a loss, lossy, lossless. Not quite sure. I think it's. I think it's more. I think it's a lossy codec. I think AAC is lossy. If I'm not. If I'm not mistaken. So you're actually getting my voice doubly lossly. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of a lot of information being lost there. So not. It, it wasn't. It wasn't that noticeable. I don't think. But. When I when I went to just when I when I changed it to being lossless and then just lossy only once, uh, I noticed a difference uh, in particular with some of the more subtle sounds um, in the audio. Uh, in particular, you can hear a lot of my my laptop fan, um, which I'm sure you're going to hear. I, I can hear it right now, and I'm sure you can hear it probably in this recording as well. I try my best to. Um, get rid of that as much as I can, but I manage to get rid of it in silent parts of the audio. But uh, when I'm actually talking, it's so it's such a low pitch that it's sort of it's hard to isolate from my own voice. So it's you know, not a whole lot I can do there. You'll hear it a lot when I'm talking, but you won't hear. Hopefully, don't hear it when when I'm silent, which is half the battle. Um, eventually, I'll have to do something. I eventually, I would like to. You know, I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I do eventually want to get another desk and try to move the laptop and everything else <laughs> over across the room um, and get a more proper setup here where I, I, you know, that fan isn't constantly blowing in, in the microphone and, and all that stuff. And um, at some point, get a second monitor so that, I mean, I have technically I use the laptop as my second monitor, but it's uh it's not good for it's not good enough for live streaming and stuff because the monitor is on my the the laptop is running linux which is you know doing my my audio which by the way 
Uh, when I record my audio on Audacity on Linux, and I record my audio, my voice, on Audacity on Windows, there is a notable quality difference. Notable quality difference. Like, on Linux, it seems to work ridiculously good. Like, I get really clean audio out of it with doing very little. I've got all the same settings and everything else. And in Windows, it's just crappy as hell. And I have no idea. I have no idea why that why that is that way. I have all the same settings and everything. It just, it just sounds crappier. I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know why that, I don't know why it does that, but uh, you'll hear that in particular um, with my, with live streams that I do, that I upload to YouTube, particularly the Divinity Original Sin live streams and stuff, uh, gameplay and all that stuff. Um, it's particularly egregious there. You can hear the the quality difference uh, between recording on my Linux machine versus recording on, on PC. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's just better drivers. I, I, I have no idea. Um, or if it's just that it's it's devoted to just one task right now, which is just the recording and not anything else. I, whatever. Um, anywho, uh, I, I've been doing that. I've also changed, and you'll notice this in my Forza Horizon video since that is recording off the console. But I've changed my console recording uh, settings so that uh, I was, in, again, in there, I was recording it as MP3. I was recording the audio from the game as an MP3 file because uh, the other settings that I could do in there, um, uh, Vegas, which is what I use to edit my stuff, uh, could not read. But I discovered that I can get around that. So what I'm what I've been doing lately with the latest Forza Horizon videos, the last I'd say six or seven Forza Horizon videos, um, is I'm t I'm having the audio from the console come through as flack, just like my voice audio, uh, and then I'm pulling that into Audacity, which I have the FFmpeg plugin for that. And pulling, it's actually coming in as a different format. It's coming in as not not FLAC, but some other some other um, lossless format that I can't put my finger on at the moment. Um, but it's one that I, with the FFM plug uh, plug in in Audacity, it can read that directly from the audio, directly from the video file. And whereas Vegas can't, Vegas can only read the video track and not the audio track. So by pulling the audio track out, I save it as FLAC which is lossless, and then I pull that in separately into Vegas, and then you you should be hearing, and I, I hear it, uh, but of course I'm listening for it. Uh, you should be hearing like the engine noise and stuff should sound a lot more crisp than it has in the past, um, and various other sounds uh, like the voiceovers and stuff in the game in Forza Horizon should sound a lot better now, hopefully, than they did. Uh, so that was another subtle change that I've made. Uh, mostly to audio setup, uh, and hopefully at some point, the other thing I'm noticing a lot now that I'm doing lossless, uh, lossless um, recording here, is the echoes in this room are particularly egregious now, um, and you probably don't hear it as much with uh, Cube Ramblings as you do with other things, with other videos. Uh, mostly because I've pretty much got my face pressed up <laughs> against the microphone here almost uh, in Cube Ramblings. And I'm, I'm talking at a very low tone uh, so that my voice doesn't echo quite as much. Um, however, when I'm playing, uh, when I'm actively playing a game, uh, I can't do that because I need to be looking at the screen. So I'm further away from the mic, which means I'm projecting my voice more, which means it's echoing more. And I've got, you know, I'm recording in a room that has no rug. So right away, you're getting echo off the hardwood floor. Um, it's got a vault, a sort of an angled ceiling. So you're getting the, um, and a high ceiling at that. So you're getting the echo off the ceiling as well. And then you're getting the echo off the, um, uh, the glass of the cabinet behind me and also the, the monitor screen in front of me. So, and, and I've got it set to cardoid, uh, so I shouldn't get too much of that reflection from the back, but it's still going to happen. Um, plus the, the window next to me as well, I'm sure echoes a bit. 
So it's not the most ideal room uh, for recording situations. I've been thinking of actually moving my recording setup into the spare bedroom, which does have a rug on the floor and in fact actually has a tapestry on the wall um, that would help to silence some of the echoes. Uh, I'm sure it would probably make a quite the difference, um, but it's a little bit less convenient for me because I don't have my internet set up in that room. Like I have to get another, I have to get a network drop in there, which means I'm going to crawl through the attic, which I don't really feel like doing, <laughs> to be honest, uh, and various other things. Um, so it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, I might, at some point I'm looking, I, I've been doing every so often a search for some sound, um, proofing things, not soundproofing, but sound dampening, uh, things. There's like, uh, they have panels that you can put up, but they're, they're like, they're quite the penny. I think they're like several hundred bucks a, a square foot, if I'm not mistaken. So that's probably a little bit too much, uh, for my budget. Uh, but then there's also some, um, uh, dr not drapes, but, uh, uh, I forget, I forget what you call them. They're sort of like, kind of like blankets kind of, but, uh, you, you can mount them on the wall. You can hang them, you know, in front of things that would normally reflect stuff and it will help. It'll help with the uh, reflections and the echoes and stuff. So I might look into some of those possibly. I imagine they're a little bit cheaper than, <laughs> than the actual, uh, sound dampening panels. Although, to be honest with you, uh, even if I had them, I'm not quite sure where I would put them. Um, I imagine I would have to test out several different walls to see which one is, is echoing the most. I, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have the ear for audio normally, so it's, it would be a, much like everything else I do, a, a hunt and peck. Um, try this little tweak here, try that little tweak there, see what other people say, that kind of thing. In addition to that, I uh, what I wanted to, to mention in the channel update, which I didn't, is that I've gone through my actual channel on YouTube, uh, the channel page, I should say, and I've tried to organize, I, I've used much more of the uh, multi-playlist um, sections that YouTube offers, and I've tried to organize my playlists into genres, for the most part. Uh, a couple of them I left... Uh, as their own single playlist, like for instance, Cube Rambling, since it's not really granted, I'm playing an RPG, an action RPG, but really it's not as much about the gameplay <laughs> as it used to be. Um, so I've kept that separate. I've kept side quests separate because that covers many different genres and there's no point in trying to break that up into little individual video things. Um, but other, other ones I've done the multi playlist thing with, uh, unfortunately I ran out of sections. There's only so many sections that YouTube will give you. Um, so I ran out, <laughs> I ran out. So there's sort of a, you know, there's a, like a sandbox section and then there's an RPG section and then there's, and then there's like the miscellaneous section. <laughs> it's like, it's like everything else just goes here <laughs> sort of, um, so uh, hopefully that will help with um, people trying to look on the channel page to see some older videos, some other series I've done. You know, go back and watch the Wolfenstein stuff and things of that nature instead of instead of me just having one, you know, one or two or three playlists on there of things that are getting kind of long in the tooth. You can now see a better picture, I think, of everything on the channel. Additional to that, um, I've been wanting to for quite some time, and I'm hoping that I get a chance to do this. I, I've been recording so much that I think I might be able to get a chance to do this uh, in, the com in the coming days. I want to update my um, update my end slate. Uh, it is getting kind of old, and I, and I actually, to be honest with you, it, it doesn't reflect any of the current series that I've been doing. I, I have been wanting to do this for a while, which is why I haven't updated it with like, hey, here's um, the Spatials, or hey, here's uh, um, the First Templar, or various other things like that. I, it's still, I, I've gotten a lot of mileage out of the, here's Ethereum and, and Mirror's Edge 
one and 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 all that stuff uh, and it's time that I not only brought it current but updated it a bunch and I actually have an updated um, video that shows a lot of different playlists in it or I, I'm sorry a lot of different games that I've played in it for 10 seconds each it's sort of a rolling video and I actually I actually put that at the end of one of my videos I think it was the Wolfenstein the very finale of Wolfenstein uh, when I stopped talking and, and it was just credits rolling, I think I rolled it during that. Where you got to see, you know, various games that I've played uh, in the past. And the reason for that was, I have this idea where I want to... I want to have that, more of that, where, you know, my, my end slate is generally about 23 seconds. Because that is the amount of time it takes for the... Uh, Retro Future Clean, the, the music Retro, Fu Retro Future Clean is the name of the, the song uh, from uh, from Kevin McLeod. Uh, the very end of that song, which is what I use uh, for the end slate because it's got that nice, you know, it's got that nice rolling along ending and then, you know, and then it just ends kind of nicely. I don't, I'm not chopping it off at the end. Um that takes 23 seconds to go through its meanderings. So I've been making my end slates 23 seconds, although they're initially 20 seconds, which is why, so I have to like extend them by three seconds. So sometimes you'll see in my later videos or most of my current videos that uh, like Soul Zero and Cube Rambler and Cube World and stuff like that, like the games play slightly, slightly sh fast or slower. I, I would say so the videos play slightly slower because I've actually extended them by three seconds, uh, the whole thing by three seconds, um, and that's because I wanted it to match the, the the audio. Whereas before I was just doing twenty seconds and bing, bam, boom, and it wasn't quite it wasn't quite matching the the last hit in the audio there. So uh, I want to redo the uh, end slate. So that I can get, uh, and I have an idea. I, I was thinking of recording um, Ethereum uh, at you know 1080p, hopefully, do a short recording of that, like 23 seconds, taking uh, that visual, and in the you know in the cockpit monitors there, actually having my videos, my my video playlist play, uh, the rotating playlist. And that will mean that it will rotate through like two or three, uh, probably three, um, well, just a portion of three um, of my uh, of videos as it does it. Uh, so I think that will I think that will look a little bit better. Uh, I'm hoping it'll be it'll be a little bit more updated anyway, and I think it'll provide me a little bit easier means of. Yeah, you know, right now I've got like nine different slates and slates hanging around, and that one will, if I do it right, I should be able to be able to, you know, have just one that sort of rotates a little bit. Um, but we'll see. That is my that is my ultimate plan. We'll we'll see if that <laughs> if that pans out or not. Hopefully it does. Um, and as far as as far as the games go, uh, I've completed. The first Templar, the last video of that went up this week. Um, that will get replaced with Rollers of the Realm, which you've already seen a couple episodes of so far. Uh, the, uh, I believe, Forza Horizon, the finale of the main game, will be going up tomorrow, Monday. Uh, and then I've started recording the DLC for that, so that'll take me a while to go through the DLC. Eventually, I will probably replace that with um, possibly distance. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, I've been trying to think of what I'd want to do there. I don't know if I want to do another racing game there. I do want to have another racing game. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure yet. I also have the I also have bought um, Need for Speed Rivals. Uh, was it Rivals? Yeah, I think it's Rivals. Need for Speed Rivals, which I kind of also want to play. So I'm thinking maybe I'll replace Forza Horizon after I do the DLC. Um, possibly with uh, Need for Speed Rivals. We'll see. That's my initial thought. Uh, so that we, I continue to have racing games on there. I still like, I like racing games. So I, 
seems like a good fit. Um, in addition to that, I've been looking at, uh, obviously I still have a lot of Divinity Original Sin recordings I need to get out. I have them recorded, I just need to edit them and get them done. I want to get Wing Commander Saga eventually completely edited and out, because I still have all that footage lying around. Um, as it stands, some of the older games that I, gameplays that I stopped, um, Heroine's Quest, I may, as it looks like now, I may not ever return to it, unfortunately. Um, just because I was completely stumped with it, and still am, <laughs> even after looking up the, the supposed, you know, cheats for it, I was, I was still relatively stumped by it, so I, I, I it's not looking likely like I'll ever go back to that. Um, Space Run, I am still stuck on that one map. Uh, so it's not looking good like I'll ever get back to that either. Um, I, I'll keep trying and maybe someday I'll, I'll get lucky and actually get through that map and we'll be able to continue that series. And uh, what else? Uh, Watch Dogs, I, I, I lost interest in. I, it was just not fun. Uh, so I probably won't ever go back to that. And uh, what else did I? What else did I never complete? Um, trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I didn't. I, I started but never, never finished. Um, nothing. Nothing is really coming to my brain right now. So I, I guess that I suppose that will. That will do. Other than Wing Commander Saga, which uh, I am going to, I'm going to force myself to get through editing. Uh, several more episodes of that. In the same vein as as Wing Commander Saga, I've been doing a lot of live streaming, uh, and um, I've been doing a lot of different games on live streams. So I have a plan. Uh, <clears throat> well, I have a <laughs> a possibility. I wouldn't call it a plan, but I have a possibility for how I want to. I would like to expand my live streaming a bit, um, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. One of the things I've noticed is that um, I am not really my my channel um, over on Twitch not doing so well. Um, even though I've been doing a live stream every Friday, it's really not really not attracting any eyeballs, uh, and that's and that's entirely my fault. And I honestly don't mind. Um, playing for an empty for an empty room, and and I shouldn't say an empty room because occasionally uh, I know Chaffee jumps drops by from time to time. He dropped by last week and everything else. Um, but I think what I want to do is I'm going to continue to live stream from that channel. Um, I might not do it every week. Uh, I think what I might what I might do is uh, I have an opportunity to potentially stream on the LCM Network channel. Um, we'll see, I, I have to get in touch with Jonesy and see uh, and get the uh, get the um, overlay from him and, and what I actually have to do. I'm not quite sure how he does it. I don't know if he hosts, like I don't know if Puka, if Puka streams on his channel and Jonesy hosts him or if he streams directly from the LCM Network channel. I'm not sure, I have to get all that information from Jonesy at some point. Um, and I, I need to do that sooner rather than later because I think I might focus a little bit more on that a bit because he's trying to do a, a, a variety stream over there and I, I love I loves me some variety so I might uh, I might focus some more efforts there uh, and I might focus some more efforts on hitbox as well instead of twitch but we'll, we'll see I might uh, I still want to maintain my twitch channel because it's a pop it's twitch is a very popular streaming service um, I also want to get my feet wet more in Hitbox. At the same time, I don't want to sacrifice anything on the YouTube channel, although it, I, I don't know. It, I know that one of the one piece of feedback I got um, from a Reddit thread. Uh, thank you very much to Toast for for <laughs> giving me some props on Reddit. Um, but uh, I. I uh, one of the pieces of feedback I got there is that I, I put out way too much, <laughs> way too much YouTube content, way, way too much. And I, I was actually watching a video a little bit earlier that was talking about how sub boxes appear to be frozen or appear to be broken for people who put out lots of content. And it's really not that they're broken. It's just that the YouTube algorithm is, is, uh, 
he's realizing that people aren't aren't keeping up with your content, so it's not showing you as much to them as it as it is other people who they are constantly keeping in, in touch with or are constantly viewing uh, videos from. So there's there's some evidence that you know maybe if I if there were a couple days of the week where I didn't uh, put videos out and instead just focused on maybe doing a live stream or something like that that I might that might be a little less burn um, for the subs I, I don't know um, honestly I really like the fact that I put out a video every day um, it's it's a bit worrying. Uh, because right now I'm in a good position where, you know, I'm in a job where it's possible for me to do that. Um, but getting jobs like that, getting full-time jobs where you have enough time to do something like that when you're at home, uh, is, uh, few and far between. So, you know, if <laughs> it's possible in the future that I will have, I will have no other choice but to, uh, skip some days on YouTube. But right now I'm just enjoying uh, putting up content every single day, uh, sometimes two videos a day. I know that can be a bit much, but I, there's so many games. I, I love, I love so many different games that I, I just, I feel energized whenever I record and, and I, hopefully some of that comes through in the recordings because I, I do, it really, I really do enjoy it. I really feel really good. Um, <laughs> really, 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 I'm going to use the word really a lot. Uh, I, I just feel good, uh, when I'm recording stuff and, uh, whenever I play a game that I don't record, I feel kind of crappy. Honestly, I really do. It's, it's, it, I feel so much better when I'm, when I'm recording stuff and, and editing and putting stuff up on YouTube, even though it's it can be pretty arduous. Um, you know, there are some very, very late nights editing sometimes, um, you know, where I, I might not get to bed until midnight and then I have to skip exercising in the morning so that I can actually get some, uh, you know, an additional hour of sleep so that I can uh, be useful at work. Um, so it's, it's uh, you know, given all that, it's still a heck of a lot of fun. I enjoy the heck out of it. So for now, I'm just going to keep up the, you know, keep up the pace that I'm doing. Um, some of the games I've been thinking about uh, doing some series on, uh, and I don't know when I'll ever get around to them, but I, it's, it's, they're things that I've been seriously considering. A couple Star Wars games. Um, I was thinking of doing uh, the entire Jedi Knight series. I also was thinking of, and I was playing a little bit of Republic Commando um, the other day. I actually went through and found the uh, the tweaks that you can make. There, there's a whole list of tweaks that you can make to make it so that it's, it's HD quality. Well, not HD quality, but an HD video screen because it's, it's a 16 by 9 video screen. Uh, because all the resolutions that they give you in game are 16 by 10. Um, so I found a way to get a 16 by 9 resolution out of it and also um, uh, have the field of view be 113 degrees or something like that, which is nice. You know, it's not going to be, it's not stretched or anything. There was a little bit of weirdness where it's, it rattles a lot um, when there's explosions in a game. Like it, it gets annoying sometimes, but uh, that might be just this map that I was on. I only, I've only done like the first a little bit of the first mission and then, and then I'll just start over again and, and, uh, actually, uh, do recordings. I, I wasn't recording at the time, but, uh, well, actually I did do a, a slight recording. I did do about a half an hour of recording just to see what, it, without any audio, just to see if I, you know, had all my recording settings correct. And also, uh, I was going to test out doing it at 60 frames per second, uh, because I can handle it for that game because it's not, a graphical powerhouse by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so I wanted to test a few of those things out to see what it was like, because uh, the render times, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been putting up a bunch more 1080p things now that I have a 1080p monitor. Um, whenever it seems possible, whenever I can do it, uh, like, for instance, in the spatials, I'm doing it out of necessity because when I tried 720p, uh, all the, much like in Cube World here, all of the um, UI 
uh, treatments were um, looked weird. They kept overlapping one another at that lower resolution. Uh, so that's that's one reason. That was really the main reason why I'm doing the spatials in 1080p. But I'm also doing other things like Forza Horizon. I'm doing in 1080p because it's coming in that way from my from my recording soft my recording hardware. Um, and actually, I'm downsampling that to 30 frames per second. I could potentially have that be 60, um, which would be a better thing for racing games because you really want that smoothness. Uh, I was just really worried about the render times, which is why I had it at 30. Um, because even right now, a 20-minute video of Forza Horizon takes roughly 45 minutes to an hour to render um, at 30 frames per second and 1080p on my uh, on my computer so but I might you know I might experiment with doing straight 60 uh, off that guy and see what it's like um, and you know I, I, I the other thing is too like from what I understand 60 frames per second doesn't work for every browser uh, on YouTube and also um, you know, most people's internet connection probably can't handle that. Um, so that's why I've been sort of leery of, of doing it. Um, but I see a lot of other YouTubers doing it more often now. Uh, maybe not for all their series, but for a couple. So I might do it here and there for a couple series and see what it's like. Uh, I'll probably start, start, you know, my test with say Republic Commando and, if that goes well and I get good feedback on that, then I, I might expand it a little bit more uh, for other for other series. But we'll see. Because I've also done a, a bunch of tweaks to DX Tori um, to where I think I, I've got it to where it's a lot more stable than it used to be. I'm using it more often now. In fact, um, the only series that I'm using Fraps for right now is uh, Soul Zero. And it's just because I've been using it all this time. It's not because of any other reason. I've just been using it, and I, you know, I'm used to it, and I, I just wanted to um, keep some consistency there. But the reality of the situation is, I'm starting to use DX Tori more often for things, and it's becoming the only thing I use, unless unless it doesn't work for a particular uh, for a particular title. And Fraps does work, um, which is becoming rarer as we go on. So I've got that working. I've got sometimes I'm using the Lagerith uh, codec and sometimes I'm using the UT video codec. Um, the UT video one seems like it's actually okay um, color and quality wise. So I might start switching to that entirely uh, because it does seem to help with the frame rate a bit, you know, not as much jitteriness. Um, Although you do still see some jitteriness even in Cube Ramblings here, which I've switched over to DX Tori a while ago for. Um, and I do have to fix up the audio occasionally because it does come out of sync. But I've been fixing up the audio more often in Fraps now uh, than in anything else. It's becoming desynced in Fraps more often than anything else. Uh, so I, I want to make sure I, uh, I get back to that. Oh, and also Deus Ex Human Revolution I've been using Fraps for because that's what I started out with. But I may change my mind on that oh well i'm gonna probably finish out that series on fraps uh but if i do other deus ex games i might switch back to dx tori we'll, we'll see it's a it's a more of an aesthetic thing than anything else at this point um and you know it's uh <laughs> i've been running low on hard drive space which is it's kind of is an interesting problem to have uh but it's it's one that i'm i'm trying to mitigate as much as i can uh, so yeah, I've been looking at a lot of the Star Wars games. I I might start out with Republic Commando. Uh, you might see that on the channel soonish. And uh, then uh, probably probably d dig into the uh, Jedi Knight series, which starts with if I if I, hopefully I've got this correct. It starts with Dark Forces, and then Dark Forces Two, and then I think it's Jedi Knights. Um, Masters of the Sith or something like that. And then it's Jedi Knights. Um, Jedi Knights something else. Jedi Knights Jedi Academy, I think. 
and then Jedi Knight 2, um, which is the, uh, I, I forget the subtitle of that one. Um, that's the one that I've actually played, the Jedi Knight 2 one, which was fantastic when I played it. The other one, other games in the series I never played. I played, actually I played a little bit of Dark Forces, but not, not a whole lot. Um, and I've, I've looked up, there's a, a, a patch for it that makes it so that you can run it at a 16 by 9 resolution. Um, so I'll be applying that and, and doing a test recording of that at some point. But I wanna, I'll start off with Republic Commando because that's the one I've wanted to play for a while. In addition to that, I most definitely want to get a Star Trek game on my channel. Um, I have Star Trek Away team sitting on the desk behind me. Uh, it's just waiting for me to dig in and, and see if I can do something about it. I have it installed on here. Um, I have not, I think I did a test recording and that was it. Um, and test recording went okay. The problem is that it's, uh, it's another one of those games that is only 16 by 10 resolutions. Uh, I want, I was looking around to see if anybody had any you know, like tweaks or hacks or whatever, or, or, you know, uh, fixes where it would give you a 16 by nine resolution, but I don't think anyone does. Uh, I at least I didn't see any anywhere. Um, because it's, it's one of those games, a lot of the Star Trek games are very much abandoned, even by the community at this point. Uh, so it's very hard to find things that have been fixed for you or, or other enterprising individuals have taken on. Uh, in particular, I was looking for things for Birth of the Federation because I really wanted to play that on the channel. Uh, but yeah, it's I can't you can't even run it. In a non in, in Windows Seven because it's a 16-bit, um, it's a 16-bit game, and Windows Seven uh, and Windows Seven 64-bit, which is what I have, will not does not have the 16-bit hooks anymore. Uh, if I had the 32-bit version of Windows Seven, I could do it, but I I don't. Um, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play that unless some enterprising individual comes through and has some sort of emulator that would emulate uh, Windows 95 or something like that that would allow me to play it um, which there actually might be one out there somewhere I, I I remember hearing somebody doing some kind of emulator that would allow you to run old Windows 95 games and everything else on Windows 7 um, but I don't know lest I I don't know what the status of that is and I don't remember the name of it I remember when I looked at it, it was very early on and I don't know if that's ever grown to anything else uh, along the way. So unfortunately we probably won't see that on the channel anytime soon, which kind of sucks. It was a really cool game. I really enjoyed that. But, uh, uh, sometimes my, sometimes my nostalgia <laughs> gets the better of me as far as things that people want to see. Uh, I've also been looking more at some, some mobile games, uh, as I always, as I always am. Um, haven't nothing has really piqued my interest too much um, I've wanted for a while to record star command um, but it's it's got that mobile problem that I've that I've described before where it's very very glacial pace I mean very glacial pace to the point where you're like oh man I can't like I can see playing this when I'm waiting for like the mechanic to get done with my car or something like that but I could not just play this for, you know, <laughs> for the fun of it. It's just, it's, it's fun, but it's just not, it's just takes forever to do anything in that game. And it's a shame because it's a really cool game. It's right up my alley, but I just can't, I can't see myself recording it because it'll be, it'll be, you know, an eight minute video that takes 45 minutes to record. <laughs> I mean, quite literally, it'll be 45 minutes of recording for an eight minute video. Uh, it's, it's that long. There's that many, there's that many wait periods in it. However, however, they have, and I, I have the, I've bought into the alpha for it. Um, the developers of star command have, are coming out with something called star command galaxies, which, uh, is reminiscent of the spatials, which is another game that I'm playing. Um, but it has the star command twist to it, which is you're, you're building up your spaceship. Uh, you're not building a space colony. So it's got some interesting mechanics. It's very early alpha. 
I might do a side quest video on it. I have to get, I have to dig into it some more. I've only played literally five minutes of it. I haven't gone much more than that. Um, from what I understand, there's still lots and lots of bugs in it. So I, I don't know how far I can get in it or if it will be enough that I can get a recording of it. But it's something that, uh, something that's on my list, something that I want to, I want to keep an eye on going forward. Uh, and also along those same lines, um, there's a, a bunch of roguelikes um, that I've been keeping an eye on. Um, Approaching Infinity just went, uh, just got released. The full version of the game just got released. Uh, that's I did a side quest video on that ages and ages ago. So I might do a, I'll probably do a follow up video on it, uh, where I go through and uh, and play the game a little bit more. Play the um, play the the final version of the game. Uh, or I might even do it as a, a, you know, as a live stream and then just display the live stream on YouTube, which might actually be a better thing because you'll get to see more of the game. In addition to that, uh, I have the live stream recording of me playing Ironcast, which I also want to get out. Uh, maybe I'll get it out Sunday after this, after this episode. I, I don't know. It, yeah, probably not because we're running just past 1 a.m. now as I record this. So this is going to take about an hour to render. Well, yeah, roughly an hour to render. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting around the 3 a.m. mark where I'm not going to be able to do much editing. So, yeah, probably not tomorrow. Probably not Sunday when you see this coming out. Um, but I will get that out uh, soonish. Um, and I'm going to do, I, I have, you know, this whole week off, so I am probably going to do some more impromptu live streams as I go along, possibly. I do have a bunch of things I want to do that I've been putting off, so I have to, you know, chores and whatnot that I've been putting off that I'm going to have to do, like, you know, actually buying some new clothes. <laughs> yes, I am one of those guys that is wearing clothes from, from 10 years ago because I just, I'm too lazy to buy new ones. And, you know, they're kind of falling off me now at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to do I have to do some of those things. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I'll see what I can do with that. Uh, I do want to get a lot of my, a lot of my other series fully recorded. I'm hoping um, to get, I have a bunch of Forza Horizon 2's DLC recorded. Well, I got a, a good a portion of it, a couple hours of it, of it done. Um, so I want to get a couple more hours of that under my belt and also get a couple more hours of Deus Ex Human Revolution done. Maybe even finish Deus Ex Human Revolution. I don't know. I feel like I'm close to the end, but I don't know if this is the final map or not. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell at this point because the, the story is kind of... It's... It's on and off again, you know, it sort of picks up pace and then it slows down and it picks up pace and it slows down a little bit. Um, so it's, it's hard for me to gauge exactly how far along I am in it. Um, but uh, that said, enjoying the heck out of it. Uh, and when that completes, uh, again, I'll probably switch over to like a, more of a Star Wars thing or a Star Trek thing. Um, I might do away team. I, I've been wanting to do Star Trek away team for ages. I want. I've been wanting to record it for ages. I've I played played it several times through, uh, back in the day. But it's been a while since I've been back into it. So I would like to get back and I would like to record that. Um, and uh, you know, uh, various other things. Still keeping up with Minecraft as much as I can. There's a bunch of sandbox games that I like to play, uh, but it's well. Eventually, I'll get back into Starbound, I'm sure. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Space Engineers here and there, trying to get used to it, but I haven't really... I haven't played enough of it to really get into it yet. Because I suspect that I could really get into that game, because it's, it's got a lot of... It's the sci-fi themes, and it's got a lot of stuff to it. It's just I haven't spent enough time uh, playing with it to really get a good feel for it. And the other problem is that with all the other series I have going on, I have very, very little time, very limited time uh, to do sandbox games. Uh, it's my Minecraft videos as it is 
I've I've been time boxing them, and it's it's very evident when you look at them, just how much I've been time boxing them. Where I will do about a half an hour of prep, and then forty five minutes to an hour of actual recording, um, and that's about all I can I can do of it, given everything else that I'm recording at the time, um, and. I know that that's problematic for people who want to see Minecraft, who who enjoy Minecraft. Um, but I, my when I when I initially set out, you know, my goals for my channel, one of the things I kept in mind is I didn't want it to be I didn't want it to become a Minecraft only channel. I didn't want it to be dominated by any one particular video. Uh, particularly, and I had in mind particularly Minecraft because there's a lot of just Minecraft only channels out there and there's no way I could ever compete with those guys nor would I ever try. Um, and I, um, I really, you know, as much as I enjoy the game, I would burn out of it very quickly. I know that I would burn out of it very quickly because it's just, I've had an on again, off again relationship with it f since alpha. So it's, it's, it's one of those things where, I can do it once a week, and it's still fresh and, and new in my in my mind. If I did it every single day, I, I would probably very quickly just end <laughs> end the series uh, because it just would it would get too too grindy for me, too too boring at times. Uh, I would lose uh, any semblance of of inspiration that I have. Um, it's why you see a lot of the guys that uh, well. It's why you see certain YouTubers that that do that are very good builders in Minecraft. You'll see that a lot of them have started switching to either modded Minecraft, where a lot of the grindiness can be taken care of for you, or just you know you just let your guy, you just leave your guy running on the server, and the server will just you know eventually all the things will be mined, and then you just come on and and be as creative as you want to be. Or they've gone to sort of a creative. Uh, survival mix where they'll do like creative mode sometimes or, or certain days of the week and then the rest they'll do you know regular survival mode and it's because the grindiness of Minecraft just gets to you after a while it just it just wears you down it's like hey I want to get on there I've got this idea for something I want to do but oh I don't have any resources to do it so you know I end up making stuff in cobblestone and then it, it looks like crap and then I get I get uh, frustrated with the fact that what I wanted to do looks like crap and then, you know, and I need to get all these other resources and then I don't, you know, and then something else, I get inspiration for something else and then I never go back to the other thing. And it's, it's just, it's one of those things where it's, it's sort of a love hate relationship, right? You love Minecraft because of all the creativity it brings out in you, but you hate all the grindiness. <laughs> you just hate it. Um, which is why so many people, I feel like migrate over to the mod at Minecraft stuff because it just takes some of that grinding some of that grinding away, although to be to be fair, there are mods out there that add even more grindiness to it, like Greg Tech or or Terra Firma Craft, where it's I I cannot I cannot fathom how people would do a solo Terra Firma Craft um, playthrough. Like I can see it as a server based thing where everybody's contributing to to a general pool that every, of resources that everybody can pull from, but <laughs> single player, oh my god, it's like you are the the top level masochist <laughs> there has ever seen. I have ever seen, um, in my in my humble opinion. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, that is everyone. Every, different strokes for different folks, as the as the old saying goes. Um, so there are there are sandbox things that I. I want to do I do want to get back into Starbound possibly into the into the nightlies that are the unstable nightlies um but I, again it's it's very difficult for me to like it's it's going to be time boxed again and it's it's just uh, it may not be an every week thing and uh, you know or it might be just a live stream thing that I do I, I'm finding that I'm I'm relying on live streams more for the for the the things that are going to be very grindy um or there's going to be lots of periods of of downtime in them uh i in particular the live stream i just did uh yesterday 
um, Friday for me, um, was in Elite Dangerous. I've wanted to get into Elite Dangerous for a while. I've had I've had access to the to the the um, the gamma that they put not the gamma whatever it was that they put out the the early uh, a few weeks ahead of time build and now I have access to the final build that they have out uh, and. Uh, I just wanted to dig into it, and I spent the better part of the live stream um, on Friday just trying to figure out how the hell to play the game. Because <laughs> uh, when you start up that game, it's very much like the X games, the X series of games, where it's like there is 100% grind. It is very, very boring the first couple hours. It's just trying to figure out how everything works, and then spending lots of time going between systems, and then... I, I, I couldn't figure out how bounties were working. Like there was, you know, I had, you know, I took missions from the from the mission board, but, it, it, you know, it would tell me, oh, you got to find these traitors and, and, and kill them, but then there's no such thing in the world. You, you have to read the fine print to find out, oh, no, it's this this particular faction who are happen to also be called traitors, but you don't see that anywhere. And it's, oh, it's, <laughs> it was, it was frustrating me at, at times because I'm like, I, I don't know how to how to work this, um, but I can see it getting fun once you've gotten over that initial hurdle of just trying to figure the game out. Like the tutorial in that game is the absolute worst tutorial I have ever seen in a game ever. Like it does not explain anything. It gives you key bindings and it's like, oh, here this key does that and this does that, and go ahead and do this. And then you know I, I got as far as the hyperspace tutorial, and it's like the tutorial itself was broken. Like I never. I never exited hyperspace. Like I, I set a destination, and everything else, and it just sat there. I'm like, well, this sucks. <laughs> what the hell is this for? And then, you know, they give you a bunch of videos to watch, which immediately turns me off. It's it's like a wiki based game at that point, right? It's like, okay, we couldn't bother to make a good tutorial, so here's a bunch of videos that you have to watch the entire video to get one little nugget of information out of because you don't know where it's at in the video and it's just <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just rambling now now I'm just now I'm just bitching for for the for the sake of bitching. <laughs> uh, but it's it's just uh, I can see that game getting fun once you've once you've mastered once you've gotten over that initial hurdle. Like the ship that I'm in right now sucks in every conceivable manner, but it's you know I can't get credits. Like I, I I've. Collected a few bounties, like I, I, I killed a bunch of people that were wanted, but I have no idea how to actually claim the bounty. It's just sitting there. It's all these free credits just sitting there that I can't gain access to, and I'm down to like 100 credits left in my in my account, which is barely enough to even dock at a station. And it's, it's, it's just it's, it's just stuff like that. It's just kind of it's little little nitpicks like that that frustrate you initially. Um, but then I can see, like, if I can if I can power my way through that, I might be able to get to a point where it, where the game starts to shine, uh, possibly. Um, and actually, <clears throat> since I'm talking about Elite Dangerous, there is a a review out on Eurogamer for it. I'll give you a link to that. So hey, hey, we'll have a link in the in the description for a change. I'll give you a link to that review. They pretty much say a lot of what I've seen in the game so far, which is. Yeah, the, when you first start out in the game, it sucks. It really is terrible. Um, and the multiplayer is not that good. Um, it's really, you know, it's there. You know, having human pilots is nice, but I wouldn't say that it's the greatest thing ever. So uh, it would probably be, probably be better as a solo-only game. Um Although you can play the game solo, but you still have to be connected to the internet, <laughs> uh, which caused a lot of controversy uh, amongst the players. But it's uh, you know, uh, DRM will will real wreak its ugly head <laughs> at all points, all the time. Um, even though they say it's not for DRM purposes, it's uh, you know, they say that there's a lot of stuff going on as far as the economy and everything else that goes on that they need servers for, which I can kind of see, but you know, there's, there's this thing called peer to peer networking. It's not really new. It's been out for a while. You could kind of do something else. <laughs> you don't really need a central server for that. Um, but, uh, I digress. 
Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave you a link to the to the article in Eurogamer about uh, uh, Elite Dangerous. Um, also, uh, since I'm looking at my at my spreadsheet again, uh, there is uh, Star Wars: The Knights of the Old Republic, uh, a fantastic game from what I understand. Uh, I have not played it. I've played KOTOR 2, which was really good. Uh, I never finished it, though, unfortunately. It was one of those RPGs I never finished. Um, but I hear KOTOR 1 was also was equally as good. Uh, and that is that has been released for Android. Uh, and it is the full game. So it's like for five bucks, I think it is, um, you actually have to do a... <laughs> 2.4 gig download. It's it's it is everything. It is everything that there is about the game. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I'd be kind of interested to see what that looks like on a, on an Android device. Um, I imagine it looks pretty much exactly like it does on the PC nowadays because the the graphics were were what they were. <laughs> um, probably don't the graphics don't hold up very well. Um, I don't think. Um, from you know over the years but uh yeah I, I and i'm not sure how a 2.4 gig download's going to work on your android devices I, i'm assuming you're going to need a tablet for that i'm assuming that's not something you're going to put on your phone because i don't think i don't think most phones have two gigs of storage just or well three gigs of storage just lying around waiting for you to use it so i, I would imagine that's something that you would need for a tablet um, but yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one. I, I would, uh, if you're, if you're looking for something on mobile, um, that's going to require you to spend lots and lots of time on the mobile, I guess, I guess this is one of those, one of those categories where it's like, all right, this was a PC game. We've put it on a mobile device, I suppose. And it's, it's a long game. It's going to be several, you know, like, I think it's like 40 to 80 hours of gameplay or something like that. I assume that's what, that's at the point where your PC is being used up by somebody else and you just really want access to your PC, but you can't have it. So you've got your mobile device to go play your own thing. So, Cause I can't see most mobile games are not from what I can understand are not 80 hours of gameplay. So uh, I would imagine that uh, that is really the edge case that would, cause people to want to buy it is like, Hey, I don't have access to my PC for several hours at a time because you know, it's being used by the family. So instead I will, <laughs> I will play my thing on my, on my tablet here. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it is something, it's something indeed, <laughs> something to take a look at if you're, uh, if you're a big star Wars fan. Uh, and if you're a big Wing Commander fan, uh, I've been keeping an eye on a little project called Wing Commander Flat Universe. I'll leave you a link to it. It's very, very early alpha. Uh, it's free right now. Uh, very, very early alpha. I played a little bit of it and keep getting killed very quickly uh, in the first uh, tutorial mission. Uh, so it's uh, unforgiving at the moment. It's a it's a neat concept, and I, and I like what I see there. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be I suspect one of those games that takes, you know, it's a community driven game. So I I would imagine it's going to take several years, uh, if not a decade, <laughs> like Wing Commander Saga did, uh, to to finally uh, be released uh, and be uh, and be a full game. Uh, but I, I like I like what it's what it's going for. I like I like the cut of its jib. <laughs> Of its jibe, uh, so that would uh, that's something that you might want to throw on your radars. Is something that you, if you're a big Wing Commander fan like me, uh, it's 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 almost a no-brainer to keep an eye out for that. There's also a big Wing Commander um, uh, pen and paper RPG that I was looking at, uh, but I've never done a pen and paper RPG, so I was looking at the I was looking at the uh, the manual that they had, which is like 200 some odd pages. And I was just glancing at it. And I'm like, I, there's no way, like without any previous pen and paper RPG experience, there's no way I can parse what this is actually trying to tell me <laughs> or how I would ever play this. So, uh, uh, you know, that being said, I've had access to Tabletop Simulator for ages now and I've not used it. 
Um, I should actually dig into that at some point in time. Maybe a, maybe another live stream will do that. But uh, that seems like it would be... I, I've heard of people porting some pen and paper stuff to Tabletop Simulator. So that would probably be the thing that you would do is you know, someone go in and port that to to that uh, to a virtual uh, environment so it's a little bit easier to parse and and and, and deal with I guess but uh, yeah that's another thing too I want I, I should play some games in in tabletop simulator I have not even I don't even know I have it installed but I don't even think I've fired it up even once yet it's something I kickstarted a long time ago and just never uh, never dug into it because it's a it's a multiplayer only game really um, and you really need somebody to play with, although I think you can play with random people on the internet, which would be useful. So, I don't know. I might, I might dig into that too at some point. That would be, that'd be interesting. Uh, I've seen some people doing live streams of it and it's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different games. It's, it's, it's a big community driven thing. Like, I mean, there's developers and you have to buy into it. Uh, and there's a bunch of things that it supports out, uh, you know, out of the box. But uh, a lot of it's driven by just the community adding games to it, you know, because you can add all kinds of tokens and there are a lot of customizations, customization options you can bring to the game and everything else. So I can see that being something that I could get drawn into if I find a good community mod for it that's and, and you know, people to play with uh, for that. Also, I, I played on another live stream. I played a little bit of Sunset Overdrive. Um, and I, it was more of a test live stream to see if I could live stream from my, from my console, uh, through OBS, through my, through my capture software. Uh, and I could, and it looked half decent. Um, but Sunset Overdrive itself was, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I'm not big on the zombie stuff. Um, I was hoping it would be more like, uh, more like Saints Row. Uh, than it was than it actually was it was it was more it was more like GTA I would say than it was Saints Row unfortunately um, there are some funny parts to it but it's not and some ridiculousness but it's it's not uh, I don't know I, I have to I think I have to play some more of it to really get a better assessment of it I the part that I played the early the early portion of the game was uh, a lot of me just dying repeatedly and not knowing how to fix <laughs> fix the problem that was causing me to die repeatedly. Uh, and a lot of grinding on rails, but then uh, not being able to aim properly. And uh, some of the mechanics of it seem a little bit off, but I had to give it some more. I had to give it more of a chance, I think, before I can really uh, give an assessment on Sunset Overdrive. Um, but let's see, I think, uh, yeah, we got a couple more minutes here, I would say. Um, do, 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 do. so a couple other things on my list. Interstellaria has been, re well, I think it's been released or it's very close to it. I think it's, yeah, very close to it one way or the other. Um, I have to dig into that at some point. Uh, I've never even done a side quest video on that, so I should probably do a side quest video on that at least. Uh, Tiny Trek is another one that I've had on my list forever and a day uh, that I want to dig into. There's also a game called Guild Commander, uh, which I started playing a little bit of to get a, get a feel for. I'll probably be doing a side quest video of that soonish. I'm going to try to record a bunch of these side quest videos at once uh, so that they're ready to go and I can, just, I can just figure out where to fit them in on the schedule. And... Um, yeah, uh, I I also picked up Satellite Rain. I'll, I'll link you to a Rock Paper Shotgun article on Satellite Rain. It's at, it's it's uh, gone into early access, uh, and it's it's a game very much in the style of Syndicate back in the day, the old old school Syndicate. But uh, from what I understand, but I've never played Syndicate, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, I did dig into it for about five minutes. Uh, well, for a hot minute anyway, to see what it looked like. And there's no tutorial yet. It's very, very early, very early access. Um, there's no tutorial yet. All it was was a window that popped up with very, very tiny text explaining everything there is to explain about the game. And I looked at it, I was like, well, okay, there's a lot here. <laughs> I, I, 
I might, I, this might take me a little while to figure this out. <laughs> so I, I sort of got, you know, uh, a little bit scared by it. And I was like, okay, let me, let me wait until I'm in a better mindset before I, <laughs> before I dig into this one. Um, so that's also on my list of things to, to kind of take a look at and take a peek at and see if it's, see what it's like, see how, it, see how, how it works out. But uh, I think uh, that will just about do it for this episode of Cube Ramblings. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and listening and listening to my rambles and, and not having much to say as far as news goes. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.